I mean, let's face it, documentations are usually pretty boring, aren't they? But here's the good news, it doesn't have to be that way anymore. So let me introduce you to WeDoc. So this is a WordPress plugin that allows you to create great looking documentation for your products and organize them on your site beautifully. Now, writing a new documentation is as easy as writing ah. Now, I'm not too sure what they mean by that, but it's quite funny anyways. Now, all you need to do is to install their free plugin to try it out, and then you're all good to go. Now, I also have the premium version installed, as you can see here, so I can show you all the different features. And if you want the pro version, by the way, it's only $119 for a lifetime license. So by the side, we have WeDocs here, so simply click on that. And now we can create our documentation. So let's click on this and let's give it a name. So let's say maybe you offer three different services like web hosting, graphic design and web design. So your first documentation might be related to web hosting, okay? And then we can publish. So this is our first documentation. And let's add the other two together here. So let's say the second one would be maybe web hosting and then publish. And again, let's do the same with graphic design, okay? So graphic design and publish. And there you go. Now we have our three different documentations. Now, maybe you want to display them in a specific order. Maybe you want web design to be first and maybe graphic design last, okay? And then you can basically drag and drop them and place them exactly where you want them to be. So let's start with web hosting as an example here. So basically we have sections and articles as well. So as part of our web hosting documentation, what do we need to cover? Well, maybe getting started, see panel, domain names, WordPress, email, resellers, accounts and billing and migration. So these would all be sections, okay? So let's create a section together. So let's add, and as you can see, either article or section. So the first one is a section and let's give it a name okay so let's say the first one will be getting started and then publish and then the second one is maybe related to cpanel so add section and then here we're going to type cpanel and then publish okay and then we do the same with the others. So there you go, as you can see, now we have eight different sections and zero articles at the moment. So now we can start adding our article. So add an article. So let's say we're gonna create an article related to hosting plans. And this would be part of our getting started section and then publish. And now if you hover on top of article and open this in a new tab and under the getting started section, we have our article here. As you can see, you can quick edit or edit. So let's click on edit. There you go, it's gonna bring us here. And now you can type the content of your article so perhaps something like this you know you have shared hosting vps dedicated server cloud hosting and wordpress hosting and then you can update you know let's go back here and let me show you what it looks like in the front end so if you hover on top we have this icon here view on the web so click on that it will open up in a new tab and as you can see it looks absolutely fantastic and very professional indeed so this is our article here with all the different sections here and as you can see under getting started we only have one article at the moment but the more we add the more we'll see obviously you know and we have the breadcrumb here so you can go anywhere you want so you can go to getting started or web hosting or directly back to your root folder from your documentation so as you can see this is what it looks like so we have web hosting web design and graphic design and all these are hyperlinks you can click on any of those sections and it will bring you directly there so if you scroll up here as you can see getting starting hosting plans you can expand and close and collapse the whole thing so basically this is really up to you where you want to go you have three different levels you can go to web hosting getting started or directly to the article and basically after this all you have to do is add all the different articles under each and every sections and you can do the same with all the different documentations okay so now let me show you one of the best feature of this plugin which is the ai chat so if you click on this as you can see you need to enable it first and you also need to subscribe to this service so it's 7.99 per month as you can see here but i'm going to show you what it's capable of it's absolutely amazing and to demonstrate this what i've done i've created three different articles already so hosting plans ssl certificate and set up your cpanel so now we do have a bit of content as part of our documentation so what is the ai chat exactly well basically once this is enabled the ai chatbot will learn from the content inside your documentation and will help your visitors and answer all their questions for you okay so let me demonstrate straight there so we go to the front end click on this and let's ask our question and as you can see on top you have ai chat explore and messaging so i'll explain what this is in a few minutes okay so let's ask our question to the ai chatbot okay and let's click enter and now it is answering our question there you go as you can see to set up your cpanel on your server uh, you can log in directly to your cpanel using the url yourdomain.com forward slash cpanel and entering username and password and da 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 and da 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 okay so that's basically it and it's even linking this to the article itself so if i was to click on this i could access the article itself and that's basically it and i have the full information right here 
So that's basically how this works. So to be honest, guys, this is actually great, isn't it? And for just the cost of $7.99 per month, you get your own assistant. So you don't have to hire anyone. It's the AI chatbot taking care of everything for you. Okay, so now let me show you how you can customize your chat box here. Okay, so we go back to the WordPress dashboard. So from here, you can go to placement. And as you can see, you have AI chatbot first, explore, and then messaging. Maybe you want messaging first, you know, and then maybe the AI chatbot second, and then explore. That's really up to you. If I click save now, and we go back to the front end and refresh and let's click on this as you can see now is the messaging that's first and then if they want to ask for the chatbot uh, itself to answer the question they can go second you know so again this is really up to you and then you can change the color and the feel as well so if you go to widget preference basically it's all here you know you have your font and your color palette as well you can select among all these different options here so as you can see not bad at all a few different features available so again uh, select the one that you prefer based on your own personal taste and then we also have everything related to the the articles themselves you know so the way it's displayed now is the default but you also have bootstrap and tailwind so you can select either of those you know and then you can also change the color to match your branding obviously you know it's not clearly at the moment we have the, the default blue but you can change this very easily you know so if your company is using red or maybe orange or whatever feel free to change this around and then we have a few additional features obviously you have all the permissions so here you can set the permissions so who has global access so that should be normally with the admin you know and then who can manage WeDoc settings so here you can select among these different features so i would highly recommend not to use subscribers obviously you know but maybe one of those three would be fine and then finally we have the general settings here so two of them are very helpful is the email feedback on article and the helpful feedback on article so what is that exactly well if you go to your article here let's say they go through everything and they may be still stuck they don't have the answer to the question they're looking for well they can contact you directly from here but if they found this helpful they can vote as well and say was this article helpful to you yes and this is good feedback for you to know if you have to improve the content of the article or not and there you go guys now you can create great looking document for your product and put them on your website now if you'd like to give it a go as always i'll leave all the links in the description below thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one